It has been part of East Tennessee for nearly 150 years. Now, some are calling for the Knoxville College campus to be demolished or repurposed. But as Kristen Allen tells us, supporters of the historically black school say it holds an important place for alumni and future generations. This is a glimpse into what a typical day was like on the Knoxville College campus in the 1960s and 70s. And there's music and people are going to class and there's all kind of activities. And the community is engaged and the college is engaged. That's what it was like. And uh, there was such a high standard for education. Moments frozen in time that make Vivian Scheip smile. My uncle Astor was over the chemistry department. My Aunt Doris worked in the English department, and Aunt Jackie Martin, who was well known in Knoxville, she was over the math department. Now some are calling for the Knoxville College campus to be demolished or repurposed altogether. KFD responded to the campus 10 times in the last year. The most recent of those calls led to the discovery of two bodies in an unused building. Regardless, Scheip says the school is still worth saving. You take small steps. To, to be successful is one step at a time. You start where you are. Casey is East Tennessee's only historically black college, or HBCU. Knoxville College was built by slaves. You know, all those bricks that you walk upon that those buildings are, are, are made of are built because they wanted to have a, a place for higher education for black people. She says the sentiment of the college's founders is the same today. She's hoping city leaders, the school's board of trustees, and supporters band together to restore the campus for both its history and future generations. But that which falls can rise again. So you learn from your mistakes and you don't make those same mistakes. And now we're living in a time of technology. We're, we're living in times where a lot of classes may be uh, online, but we need to walk the yard again. In Knoxville, Kristen Allen, WVLT News. Knoxville College was very vibrant, but then in 1997, it saw a steep uh, drop in enrollment it, after it lost its accreditation. Last year, they partnered with UT to get that back, but there were only 12 students in Knoxville College's most recent term.